we have according to kinetic theory kinetic theory of gases of gases we have the pressure exerted by the molecule of a gas is equal to 1 by 3 times rho p square where rho is the density of the gas molecule v is the mean square velocity again p is equal to 1 by 3 rho is equal to mass by volume mass of the gas molecule divided by volume times v square clear but if if n equal to 1 which means the number of moles is equal to 1 you have the expression for number of moles equal to given mass divided by molecular mass so if n equal to 1 means m 1 equal to small letter m by capital letter m which means mass of the molecule will be molecular mass which means for one mole if n equal to 1 number of moles is equal to 1 then, then this mass will be molecular mass so you can write the equation p is equal to 1 by 3 molecular mass divided by v times v square also if you take the v to the left then you will get pv is equal to 1 by 3 mv square let's call that as equation number one now you have from the ideal gas equation you have pv is equal to rt actually pv equal to nrt but here the number of moles is equal n equal to one so pv equal to rt so here the equation one will become this equation will become rt equal to 1 by 3 mv square clear let's call that equation as equation number 2 now we have the kinetic energy kinetic energy kinetic energy let's represent kinetic energy as e e is equal to half mass of the gas divide into mean velocity square where v square is the mean square velocity again here n is equal to 1 if n equal to 1 then this mass will be molecular mass molecular mass so you can write e is equal to half m v square let's call this as equation number 3 so what will you get when you divide equation equation 3 and 2 that is if you divide the equation 3 with equation 2 you will get on the left side it will be e divided by here it is rt on the right side half m v square divided by 1 by 3 m v square you can cancel this m v square and this m v square so e by rt is equal to taking this 3 to the up so this will be 3 by 2 1 by 2 by 1 by 3 equal to 3 by 2 which means which means kinetic energy e is equal to taking this rt to the right e equal to 3 by 2 rt that is the average kinetic energy of a mole of gas is equal to 3 by 2 rt that is you know 3 by 2 is constant and r is also constant which means e proportional to t so we say that the temperature is a measure of that's why we say the temperature is a measure of average kinetic energy of a molecule temperature temperature is a measure of measure of average average kinetic energy of the molecules clear so this kinetic energy and temperature are related so higher the kinetic energy means higher will be the temperature also if you if you look at the equation again 
we can deduce an expression for the root mean square velocity that is again we have for one mole of gas we have and this kinetic energy E is equal to half mv square. So half mv square is equal to 3 by 2 rt. You know the kinetic energy is always half times mass into velocity square. So you can cancel this 2 and this 2 which means v square is equal to 3 rt divided by m implies the root mean square velocity v is equal to root of 3 rt divided by m. Again you get from this expression you will get the root mean square velocity v. Some others write it as v rms. Both are correct. Is proportional to root of absolute temperature t. That is v proportional to root t. Simply saying from this equation v, v proportional to root of temperature. And, and if you consider the condition if t equal to if t equal to 0. What if t equal to 0? If this is equal to 0 then definitely v equal to 0. That is why we say at absolute 0 or when the temperature is 0 the molecular motion stops. That is at absolute zero, which means temperature is equal to zero, the molecular motion stops. Molecular motion stops completely. Which means the at t equal to zero. The molecule possesses no kinetic energy. Clear. Again, if you look at the equation E, equation of kinetic energy, let us again consider that equation. We have this E means kinetic energy of one mole of gas. So, what if E by Na? Na means Na is the Avogadro number. Avogadro, Avogadro's number. So, E by Na which, which can be represented as E bar means kinetic energy, average kinetic energy. This is average. So, average kinetic energy of a molecule of a gas or simply say average kinetic energy of a molecule that is E bar is equal to E means 3 by 2 RT 3 by 2 RT divided by Avogadro number Na. This can be written as 3 by 2 R divided by Na times T. But you know the value of universal gas constant can be represented as R is equal to R is equal to Boltzmann's constant into Avogadro number where Kb is the Kb means Kb the Boltzmann's constant Boltzmann's constant so that's that's how will you represent the universal gas constant R sorry R universal gas constant R. So this is equal to E bar equal to 3 by 2 instead of R you can put Kb Na by Na times T. So you can cancel this to this Na and Na. So E bar equal to 3 by 2 Kb times T. So this is the kinetic energy of a molecule kinetic energy of a molecule of a gas clear